Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss the study of compulsive behavior, which is nothing but nothing but stereotypy induced by apomorphine and its modification by chlorpromazine in mice, by Professor Sabashik. So first we'll see the aim of the experiment. So aim of the experiment is to study the compulsive behavior stereotypy induced by apomorphine and its modification by chlorpromazine in mice. Principle for this experiment. So compulsive behavior is defined as a purposeless activity exhibited by the animal. This purposeless activity is supposed to be identical to the behavioral disorder seen in schizophrenic patient who also show repetitive purposeless activity. This behavioral abnormality in schizophrenia is due to the excessive neuronal activity of dopamine in the limbic system. Apomorphine, a dopamine receptor agonist through its dopaminergic activity induces compulsive stereotype behavior in rats and mice. The stereotype behavior include repetitive standing that is nothing but rearing, continuous sniffing that is nothing but touching the nose to the wall of the container and licking the wall of the container. So you can see here in the diagram that when the animal shows the stereotype behavior or stereotypy behavior then in such case the animal stand in the beaker okay continuously also animal continuously touches the nose to the wall of the container and licking the wall of the container. This behavior can be easily observed and subjectively scored also. Chlorpromazine is an antipsychotic agent inhibit apomorphine induced compulsive behavior by blocking the dopamine receptors. Now requirement of this experiment animal mice 20 to 25 gram then drug apomorphine dose is 2.5 mg per kg intraperitoneally and chlorpromazine the dose is 3 mg per kg intraperitoneally and equipment we required here is 250 ml clean beaker with a proper with a proper plastic lid to cover the beaker Procedure. Weigh and number the animals, divide them into two groups, each comprising of five animals. Inject apomorphine to five animals and place them individually into a separate beaker and observe. Note the severity and intensity of rearing, sniffing and licking behavior at a time interval of 0 minute, 15, 35, 45 and 60 minute after apomorphine. The severity of the response can be scored as 1 when these responses are present then will give the 1 then 2 for moderately severe and 3 for the intense and continuous action. Calculate cumulative score at a each time interval. So basically we have to give the apomorphine and then we have to check the this rearing sniffing and leaking behavior at an interval of 0 minute 15 minute 30 minute 45 minute and 60 minute and we have to score uh, and we have to give the score as 1 2 and 3 1 for the presence 2 for the moderately severe response or moderately severe behavior and 3 is for the intense and continuous action to the second group inject chlorpromazine and 30 minute later inject apomorphine to these animal. Place them individual beaker and score as in the step 2. Calculate the cumulative behavior score at a each time interval. Compare the action of apomorphine in normal and chlorpromazine treated animals. So this is the observation that we got. So rearing, sniffing and licking response. So in case of apomorphine, when we observe the rearing response, so in 0 minute the response is 0. But in 15 minute it will show as 0.4. Here I have calculated the mean of it. Then 1.8, 2.2, 1.4. Okay. 
but when we give the chlorpromazine and after when we give the epimorphine so as chlorpromazine is a antipsychotic drug so what it will do it will reduce this rearing response so you can easily see here from 0.4 it is reduced to 1 1.8 it is reduced to 1 then 2.2 it is reduced to 1.2 and 1.4 is reduced to 0.8 uh, 0.6 Similarly, sniffing response is also reduced uh, due to the chlorpromazine, and licking response is also reduced due to the chlorpromazine, as chlorpromazine is an antipsychotic drug. So, inference: epimorphine induces compulsive rearing, sniffing, and licking behavior in mice, and this effect is blocked by pre-treatment with chlorpromazine. So, this is all about the experiment. Thank you.